EA Sports bringing you the heat, bringing you the noise, and bringing you what should be a fantastic matchup tonight on the ice. Centers are lined up, official ready to drop the puck. The Ticats start with possession as we are now underway. Scoops up the puck here. And he takes the feed. The Voltigeurs move the puck in the defensive zone. The Ticats get a hold of it. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. The Seaton's gain possession along the boards. Can't make it work. Split feed. Oh, and that's got the crowd bussing after that stop. Where's back to the next stage? He'll keep it alive and moves it ahead. Ostrava's got it now. He gets a piece of it with a stick. They're like a swarm of bees out here with this pressure. And look at that. They finally get it out, and here they go in transition. Centering feed. down into that low slot. You don't have much time to deliver it. That puck's on and off the stick in a hurry and into the net. But Seton's got this crowd rocking again early. They've been known for a quick start. And here they are, out in front before the other team settles into the game. And he takes the feed. Quick shot! The noise of he got all of it! But Seton's got it near the point. The Voltigeurs played along the boards. Takes it from the other side of the blue line. And look at this. They've turned this offensive end into a pressure cooker. Play is called for offside. Such hard work in the defensive zone when you're rolling around on a cycle trying to stop the other team. So this stoppage comes really at a nice time for them. They could get a breath here, get regrouped. Ostrava's won the draw. Steps across the blue line. And he takes a shot. And a textbook pad save there. Cutting to the slot. Denies him again. That's a really good save. I think the goalie's probably surprised. He was dead center and open to shoot that puck. Puck picked up by Berger. Takes the puck. Sends it in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Slides it quickly to Price. Handles the puck. Handles the pass. And that one goes up and over. He looks like he's trying to go right under the bar. He just elevates that a little bit too much. So close yet so far. Bryce is moving the puck through his own zone. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Sends it quickly to Etz. We got a penalty coming up here. Quick whistle stops the play. That penalty puts the whole bench in a little bit of uneasiness. They got a one-goal lead, but they're shorthanded. Ostrava sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. Well, they've gotten themselves to within one. Now they've got a power play opportunity to try and even the score. The best power plays always work when the feet and the puck are moving at the same time. Good hit on the play. And he coughs it up with the pass. And he was locked in on that save as play continues. He's got such a low center of gravity that no matter how hard the defender's pushing on him, they can't seem to get him off the puck. And because of that balance and strength, he's able to create this chance and a good save by the goalie while he's out. Good stand-up hit on the play. Stoppage in play as we get an offside. Power play set to roll on as the centers get ready for the faceoff. The Voltigeurs win possession here in the open ice. Slides it across to Price. Ostrava's got it in the neutral zone. But Seton's moving it up the ice. Puts it in deep. Picked up along the wall by Price. Penalty expires with the one goal lead still intact. Nice job by the penalty killers. 
Well, there are times you look for your power play, at the very least, to gain a little momentum. They needed a goal. Now they still trail by one back to even strength. And he swings it across to Voracek. Ostrava's got it in their own zone. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. And offside, we'll get a reset here. Just here in the late stages of this frame, 1-0 the score. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Denied that one. Sliding across in the butterfly covers most of the bottom of the net. There's nowhere for the puck to go. The Volti Sharers will play it from the defensive zone. There's the whistle icing the cold, and he's going to pay for it. Yeah, you can get pretty cheeky if you want, but now you got to drop your mitts and hope you don't get punched in the face. And hanging on for dear life, and this one comes to an end. That doesn't feel very good either when you get dropped onto the ice like that. It's it's going to hurt a little bit. Probably less than getting punched in the face, though. He's going to need some help here. He came out on the short end of the stick on that in that fight. Uh, it doesn't look very good for him. Did they find his tooth? I don't know if they did, but nevertheless, both teams lining up for the face-off. Vasitin's got possession here in their own end. Nice feed. And that pass doesn't go. Sends it into the offensive zone. Vasitin's got the puck along the boards. Looks to set up at the point now. Ostrava's got it in their own zone. And he takes the pass. And he takes the dish. Stop that one. Both teams getting a good sweat on after this first period. We've got lots more in store. And we're coming back with a clean sheet of ice next. Along with Ray Ferraro between the benches, I'm James Sabolski. Period number two is about to get underway. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Ray Ferraro is standing by with his assessment of the first period between the benches, right? Ostrava's first period is nothing to write home about. I mean, they, they started slow. They got late into the physical aspect of the game, and they never had the puck. So when you don't have it, you got to chase it to get behind, and now they got to climb out of the hole. And he's able to handle that one. Dolish has the puck, and he'll wait for the faceoff. I think that's a pretty heady play. There's been a little bit of scramble around him, and he jumps on it. They can get reorganized. Dolez covers the net so well when he's in the butterfly. A key part of his game is when he slides well in the position to match the play. That's what we call his butterfly effect zone ability. Back to the blue line. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. And he comes up with it. Ostrava's got the puck. Gains the zone from the right. Takes the puck behind his own cage. Through center along the wing. Takes a shot. That's not going to fool him. Dolish opts to hang on to it to get a whistle. You start to wear down a little bit. You need your goalie to help you out. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. But Seton's ahead, 1-0. The Volti Sharers will go to work here in the offensive zone. Puck set across the blue line. Hammers a shot! They score! They get into the offensive zone, James. They're looking for him, and he's looking for that one-timer. That pass is on the tee, and he hammers it in the net. Watch him play. This is like on repeat. 
How many times does he get open to hammer that one-timer into the net? The Fulci Showers make their way back to center ice here with now a two-goal lead in the second. Nice to pad the one-goal lead. They've played well, and now they've earned this spot in the game. Moves it to Voracek. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. The Fulci Showers get a hold of the puck along the boards. And he gets a paddle on that one. But he came out and challenged him. Good save. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. He tries that extra move. I mean, sometimes it's okay. Sometimes you've got to just push the puck a little deeper. Now he's got a chance. Here's the chance to set up now. Whoa! Scores! It's in the back of the net! Ostrava's back to center ice, and now it is just a deficit of one. What a difference just the one goal makes in the way that you look at the game. What makes you think is possible. They only need one more to even this up. Moves the puck. Misses that one off target. He wants to deliver this puck quickly, James, and I, I know what he's thinking. It's got to be a perfect shot. It doesn't. Just think of how many goals go right through the goal. From center, they get into the attacking area. Nice pass. The Voltigeurs have it now. Icing is the call. We'll get a face up at the other end. Past the halfway mark of this period, Ostrava's shown a new energy over these last few minutes. They got one back, but they still need one more in order to tie. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. After the icing, now you've got the puck again. You can wear them down quickly. They've got the defense outnumbered. Back at the point, they set it up. And that's off target as it hits a body. The Voltigeurs have it in the offensive end. From one point man to another. And that somehow stayed out of the net. the puck at the point. And he makes the save. The Voltigeurs will play it in their own end. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. The Seaton's looking to break out of their own end. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Gren. Takes it to the front. Denies them in close. The Seaton's got a hold of the puck. Can't make the connection on the pass. Here's a short pass to Burzins. Shot! Gets in front of it. Tolis is on top of the puck, stopping the play. Looks like he's seen enough. The potential to start running around in your zone causes him to cover the puck up. Here in the later stages of this period, the Seton's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Ostrava's got control of it now from their own end. Under a minute to go here inside the second period. Ostrava's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. And he denied that opportunity. Oh, he had to get up tight to the puck. In close, he takes away any room. There's the buzzer. Two periods down, one more to go. They always say three is a magic number. We've got period number three next.
Welcome back. James Sabalski ready to bring you all the play-by-play. -play. And just like that, the clock is ticking on period number three. Well, we've got two periods under our belts to this point so far, Ray. How do you see things? The tie Cats are in this game, and, and maybe it's a little bit of a miracle. I mean, they haven't had many shots on goal, not many chances. That's got to change here in period three. And that one's denied! We're still in the early stages of this period. Vasitin's up 2-1, and the crowd has been enjoying this one. Ostrava's won the faceoff. Couldn't make the connection on the play. And that's blocked away. Sends the pass over. Moves it to the middle. And he denies that great opportunity there. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Hammers a shot. Just wide. Gets it to the other point. Grips it, rips it. And that goes off, pours off a body. Sends it across the ice. Takes it from the right side. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. It's 2-1. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Turn that chance aside. Takes the feed. Slides the puck across to Berger. To the low slot. You'll need more than that to beat him. Picks up the puck in his own end. Ostrava's in on the offensive attack now. Sends it in front. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Moves it quickly over to Berger. Couldn't complete the play. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Yeah, he's right in front of the puck, too. So there's really nowhere that puck's going to squeak through. The Seaton's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. Voracek's taking it from his own end. The Seaton's regained possession of the puck. Some nice footwork here across the line. The Seaton's at the back end. Takes the pass. Point to point pass. Good position to get towards the net where you can deflect the puck. So as we see on the replay, that's excellent positioning and good eye hand to deflect the puck past the goal. Here in the back half of this period, the Seaton's really control the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Shot and a great save. Slides it to Etz. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. But Seaton's got a hold of it against the wall. Takes the feed. Here's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Teams are lined up and we are ready to take this draw. Ostrava's got it in the defensive zone. From off the wall and onto a stick. Vasitin's got possession of the puck. The Ticats have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Puck scooped up by Voracek. From the neutral zone, moving forward here along the boards. The Voltigeurs have it from their own end. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. 
Ostrava's got the puck along the wall. Aaron pass and the play's broken up. Ostrava's got the puck against the half wall. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. Now, by being in the right position, James, he gets so tight to the shooter, there's nowhere for the puck to go. Sends a pass over. The Seaton's looking to break out. And there's the whistle icing the call. Late goings of this period. Vasitin's got a 3-1 lead as they have dominated for the most part in this. Gets a hold of the puck here in his own end. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Approaching the final minute of regulation. Takes that pass back to the point. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Ostrava's got the puck in the defensive end. That's dumped in, and they'll get a fresh group of forwards out there. Drives it to the crease. He scores! Ostrava's third period deficit suddenly doesn't seem so insurmountable now. You can almost see the difference in the bench and the body language. They know they've got a chance. But Seaton's got possession at center. With possession along the wall. Back to the point it goes. Find some space in the corner. Receives the pass. Oh, much respect as he blocks that one. Takes the feed from the left side. Here's a chance to clear the puck from his own end. Net is empty. The extra attacker is now out of the ice. There's the final horn, and this one's in the books. The Seton's coaching staff has to be feeling good about this one after a very tightly contested affair. They played well. They had the puck a lot. They had more offensive zone time, and eventually probably the difference in a close game. Razor, they're getting the second ovation from the crowd. Did you guys have this when you were playing? No, we had none of this. Nobody saluted the fans back like this. There seemed to be no real connection to who was watching and who was playing. And that'll do it from ringside, everyone. For Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Get home safely. Thanks so much for joining us.